hello guys and welcome back um we are continuing from where we left off um in the previous section we did part one which was more of a preface or an introduction um to the um, vat uh, topic so today we are going to be looking at um vat supply categories so just to freshen up your memory we did look at um what is vat and uh, how does the vat system work in south africa and also we also looked at uh, percentages of uh, percentage of vat that is applied on goods and i did promise you that um we are going to look in uh, in greater detail um as in what each vat um supply category uh, means uh and we're going to look at what does the standard trade supplies mean what goods fall within this category we're going to look at zero rated supplies we're going to look at exempt supplies and non-allowable items um so i hope you are going to after at the end of this topic uh or this session today you would have um, understood and um, be able to answer the questions that are provided in your textbook um, so first and foremost we're going to look at the most common um, standard rated supplies so what are these standard rated supplies so standard rated supplies are supplies that are subject to to VAT at the prescribed um, rate of 15% so these are the normal goods that do attract a 15% um, VAT charge on them. So vendors that are making uh, the standard of the supplies are required to, to, to levy um, output tax at the prescribed rate um, on the value of the supply, which must be then be paid over to the sales. So in what basically the statement is saying that if you are a, a, a vendor and you are supplying these um, standard rate supplies you need to uh, to pay what is due to the taxman you need to pay what is due to the taxman uh, that 15 percent which you have uh, charged on your goods you need to pay it to the taxman um, then so the vendors also uh, may claim input tax deductions on goods or services acquired in the course of make of making such taxable supply so that will be your VAT input so you took your your, your goods in you may you claim for VAT input and then you sold the goods and charge tax on them so you must also uh, pay what is due to to, to SARS and also SARS must pay what is due to you so remember the relationship between VAT input and VAT output. VAT output is what you owe the taxman, and VAT input is what the taxman owes you. Simple and straightforward. Um, then we move on to another category uh, of zero rated supplies. Zero rated supplies. So this is a um, self explanatory word. Uh, zero rated supply. That means there is a zero rate that is supplied but anyway let us just have a look at what do they mean by zero rate supply so is it is a taxable supply on which VAT is levied at the rate of zero percent right remember the standard rate is what is 15 percent right on each on each supply that you make according to the standard rate but in this case, if an item has been categorized as a zero rated supply, that means it's got a zero percent to it, right? So no output tax will be payable to SARS in respect of the zero rated supply. So you did not charge any tax on these goodies. So that means there is no amount that is must be paid to the SARS. So what category? Uh, what lies in this category or in this zone? So we've got petrol, uh, diesel, um, brown bread, canned butchers, rice, fresh fruits and vegetables, uh, vegetable oil, milk, eggs, um, etc. and exports. 
so i uh, remember guys in the exam don't write this etc right please 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 um uh, write list everything that you need to write don't write etc or eg for example so there is more examples uh, or lists that are added in, in your in your textbook please just refer to your textbook and get to see what are those uh, items which they listed there right now when we look at exempt supplies exempt supplies so there are some goods and services are exempt from VAT, right? That means there is no VAT that is charged to them at all, okay? So vendors of zero register supplies may still register for VAT and may claim VAT input on certain purchases, right? So all we are saying is that you as a, as a, VAT, as a VAT vendor, right, supplying the, the exempt uh, so the zero rate supplies you may claim that input on some purchases remember when you have got a zero rate that means you cannot you don't owe the taxman right but you can still claim for certain purchases that you buy that comes with VAT on them please let's be clear on that for zero rated supplies you do not pay VAT output to the tax man because your tax has got zero percent but you may claim for VAT input because some purchases may have um, some uh, VAT um, included uh, for, so vendors of exempt supplies may not register for the VAT at all so no VAT input may be claimed on their purchases so do you see the difference this is the key difference between zero rated and exempt supplies zero rated can claim and register for VAT but these ones may not register for VAT at all and so no VAT input may be claimed so just be clear on that one so what are these examples like I just did um, I can copy everything from the textbook so I just took some few examples life, life assurance interest received and interest paid needed goods or services sold by non-governmental organizations and passenger transport in south africa so guys we also refer to your textbook um like i always mentioned that guys what i supply you in this uh um videos this is just a, a skeleton or an overview of some of what i feel what i think is the, is the important concept for you so if you want much more detail extensive information please 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 refer to your textbook because everything that i do every information that i use in this in this video sessions i am using the guidelines from the textbook so these are the things that are not that are not coming out of my head so as you do these videos please just make sure you've got a textbook that next to you and so that you can follow uh, the proceedings uh, so um, then we have got also another category of non-allowable items right so what are these non-allowable items so vendor charged uh, VAT output the subsequent acquirer of the goods or service may not claim that input on them so guys this is also simple and self-explanatory um, examples include your entertainment expenditure your passenger vehicles club fees and subscription with the exception of professional subscriptions so just to add some more flesh um, to this take a look at the textbook they some they explain further me due to time and obviously space i just couldn't write all the details so the examples are well explained they will tell you exactly why uh, entertainment expenditure is being because is, is, is a non-allowable item passenger vehicles which passenger vehicle fall within this category um, so as you follow the video if your textbook um, next to you so in the what are the source documents this is actually a very important section of topic 
um, quite easy, simple and straightforward. So what are the uh, source documents? Um, remember, when you do VAT input and VAT output, uh, you don't just walk into into SARS and say, ah, I'm here to claim for my tax. And this need to be proof and evidence. There need to be systems and um, uh, source documents in place so that we know uh, what is what you are claiming um, for VAT output um, or what you are declaring as VAT output or what you are claiming for VAT input. It is um properly recorded in your books there's evidence there's invoices there's uh, receipts so that um the taxman uh, actually verifies this information um so invoice right taxes and invoice and credit notes so uh, an invoice is also a very important in this process so because a, an invoice is going to record a uh, record of proof of that a sale did take place either in cash or credit. So that is going to tell us exactly when did the sale take place and it was sold to who and uh, whether it was paid for and was not paid for. So this is actually a very critical and important source document when it comes to, uh, to taxation. Then let's look at the credit invoice. Another important, it indicates that yes, a sale did take place but money owed to the transaction is what is still outstanding so businesses must must pay taxes for the amount that they received uh, so this is also a very good important reference uh, as it shows that how who, who still owes the business and who, who has paid um, then a cash invoice also is going to indicate um, to us um, that the sale is taken place and has been paid for uh, by cash immediately. Um, so I hope, guys, I have uh, s explained to you this uh, important uh, part or section. Um, luckily, we have come. We are coming to towards the end of our module uh, module two. Um, in the next segment, we will be looking at some practical calculations as to how to calculate VAT inclusive, VAT exclusive, uh, how much is the taxable amount. So yes, uh, just press yourself, just bring your your A game. It's not going to be a very complicated section, guys. Just your calculator and your and your head. Um, otherwise, it should be a very easy and short exercise. Uh, Thank you guys for watching. It's always a pleasure hosting you. Keep well and stay safe.